Good afternoon, good lunchtime. I'm Faye Semple and I'm a sole business coach to female entrepreneurs. And I just wanted to come on live today on my business page, which I'm not normally live on, to talk about building a solid foundation in life and business where the ground is shifting underneath your feet. You've you're stood on shifting sands when things that we hold most dear seem to be crumbling because these are very strange days and difficult days that we are currently um, many people are experiencing and we are witnessing and it can feel really hard to show up it can feel really hard to carry on doing the things that we know we ought to do and we want to do in our business but it is hard and I spoke about this in my group or I did a post about this in my Facebook group the other day about how difficult it is to keep showing up now Part of my normal daily routine is, of course, is to journal, write out my intentions, set my goals, bring them to mind. All the things that we want to do as spiritual entrepreneurs. But it's really tough to sit here in gratitude and celebration when so many others are at war, are experience suffering. You know, how can we be joyful and go about doing our business when we feel broken hearted, disappointed, frustrations? We can't believe what's going on in front of us. How can we celebrate all the good things we have when people out there are fighting for their lives? There is huge displacement of women and children. How can we balance these two dichotomies? And I'm sure many of you are feeling this this way when you're in business. You know, it's it's tempting to step out of your normal routine and to sit and stop and just watch the media all day. It's tempting to think, oh, you know, I can't do business as normal while all these things are going on. And this is what I wanted to talk about. You know, we can be sad and still be active in our business and we can be angry and still do creative things. And we can be hurting, thinking, ah, but we still want to be continuing to live our purpose. And this is really, really what I wanted to talk about today. So I've got multiple screens opening, so I'll just make sure I'm on, uh, on where I'm meant to be. I wanted to talk about building a solid foundation in life and business, really, when, when we are in times of these shifting sands, when things, when things are really difficult, we don't quite know um how to move forward so what do we do what do we do how to, how do we negotiate these times in our business and i think at this point this is where my spirituality kicked in this is where i start to sort of think about the bigger pictures of things if you like about what we are currently seeing and have been experiencing for many years in many in in some respects with the pandemic climate change so you know, at the moment, so much of what we have built ourselves and our business, even our personal identity on, our social psychology on, sort of what groups we belong to, how we identify, we are seeing so much of those structures starting to dissolve moment by moment, to start to crumble, to start to fracture in front of our very eyes. This is challenging. And we, our life and our business, you know, it's not distinct from the rest of the world. There's a lot of law of attraction stuff out there at the moment will 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 guide you to do all the inner work, which, of course, we all need to do. We all need to do this inner spiritual work. But we can't just set intentions and do things without looking at the bigger frame that we belong to. Our life and our businesses are microcosms of the societies in which we live. There's an interdependent relationship between us as an individual and the society we live in. You can tell I studied sociology, social psychology and politics at university, can't you? So, but at the moment, what with the pandemic, climate change, economic strain and now this horrific war that has erupted in Ukraine, it's almost a time of necessary unravelling on the bigger picture. Um of everything in our lives, really, that is built on an incoherent foundation in modern society. So we have a, let's say, incoherence in how we live. We are often misaligned with spirituality, our, our sense of, um, you know, this beautiful planet, who we are as souls, what we came here to do as individuals, also humanity's um, constant evolution. 
we have become misdirected. There are fractions in society. We basically live in an in incoherent, unintegrated, misaligned, misdirected world. And at the moment, that is suffering from almost a disintegration in front of our very eyes. What with a pandemic, economic crisis, climate change and this horrific war that has now happened. Now, these outer forms of our world start to fall apart. But as they fall apart, it's helpful to look at the real essence of what is seeking to come forward. We have this great awakening, a mass walkout of people in jobs. We want a sense of wholeness. We want a sense of integration, I believe. And we want to be of, of service to, you know, humanity, um, soul's path and to for the good of all beings. You know, we live on this beautiful world where we could all live in harmony as one. But we have through our actions over time, you know, created massive shifts in populations and movements because of climate change and desertification, which is which is under underpin so many of the conflicts we actually see in the world today is lack of natural resources, in particular water. So it helps to remember when we're in business, even though we are part of these bigger um, e bigger economies and bigger ecologies, it's important to remember that we as individuals can lay a foundation for um, integration and coherence in our world. We we want to be um, building our lives and our businesses um, in a way that is obviously is sustainable and is to the betterment of all things. So I work very much with spirit in my business. I work with the spirit of people's businesses. I work with divine guidance. I work with landscape angels. I work with earth energy. I work with the diva of commerce. I work with many things to help women um, create uh, a business that supports their heart's desires, serves the needs of the world from a place of beauty and wholeness, but also supports all life. This is not just, you know, the world that we see around us. This is the, the conscious underpinning of spirit in everything that creates this marvellous universe. And so the reality that you may be experiencing in your business right now and in the, you know, in your business, in your life, in how you're feeling about yourself, in your moods, you know, how well you're sleeping, how are you functioning at the moment? All these, all these things, you're, you know, like I said, the economic strain that you may be under, the difficulties in your business that you might be experiencing at the moment, all these are a consequences of real complex, various functions of how we sit in this ecology of the wider world. There's global systems, there's um, patterns of life, there's this essential seeking of profit to the detriment of all else, even the planet itself that we rely on for our life. And this is, you know, how we've lived is really at the expense of, you know, the health and vitality of all beings on this planet. And we have a duty now to step up as these systems are collapsing and crumbling and shifting. We have the capacity to force and shape our own lives um, and never underestimate the power that we hold individually to form a collective that can make change. So. You know, what we're seeing now is, um, is, is, is this is dichotomy between our external and our internal realities, both on an individual level and a societal level. So we want integrity and coherence in our inner world, and we want to experience that in our outer world. But our individual identity is both a mirror of and a container for everything that we hold dear in society. So and this is how, you know, this is how conflict arises, that we 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 have this idea of the aggressor and ourselves. I'm not saying what's happened, of course, with the uh, I won't say Russia or say Putin invading uh, Ukraine, of course, is not you know a matter of open for discussion. What's happened is wrong and terrible. But nonetheless, we have this, you know, we, we identify as an individual. We identify with the social groups that we belong in. We identify with our sex, gender. We have these, these external references that form the self. And now these, these references, um, with that they are shifting, changing under threat. You know, I would associate myself as, you know, a woman. I live in, I'm, in, I'm British. I live in a democratic society. So the democracy is external to me, but it still forms a part of my identity. 
And when these things shift and change, you know, we can become unsettled. So it's really important that we, particularly if we're in business, and this may sound strange, that we create a world of coherency and integrity for ourselves, for our clients. And to do that, we have to create integrity and coherency within our own ecology, within our own identity, within our, within our own business. Because we can't stop doing business because of what's going on in the world. That's not going to help anybody. But we need to be working in a way that ushers in change and ushers in um, a new reality. So, you know, take time to re-engage with your spiritual practice. You know, I um, I talk to... <laughs> Sounds bad, doesn't it? But I talk to spirit all the time. I talk to spirit in, in nature. I talk to the spirit in my business. You know, on Monday, I'm going to do some work with what the Irish would call the she, the fairy folk. Um, I integrate all these things in my business, not just the practical business know-how, not just the marketing and the branding and the systems and the structures and the policies and the procedures and, you know, how to create offers that your client wants all that but underpinning that i have this deep spiritual practice because i believe all life is connected we are all one everything is connected and this terrible fractious consumerist society that is now pulling itself apart we need you know we we are duty bound as individuals and i know so many want people want change we want something different we want a new reality so now is, you know, we can do whatever we can. Of course, we need to support the Ukrainians with any way we can. But as, also as individuals, it's a real time to take a good hard look at how we live. So we cannot build a successful life on business, on incoherency, misalignment, misadjust, misadjustment. We need that internal integrity and coherence to do this. And building... Um, you know, a stable structure in your own energy body, in your own mind, in your own spirit will help you with your business. It'll help you with your life. It'll help with your family. It will help you integrate into society to choose, you know, and to hold a container that other people can look at in your identity that says, that's something that I want to become. That's something that I want to be a part of. Now, your spiritual practice helps us develop a sense of sovereignty and a sense of power. You don't have to be into animism or nature spirits or anything or spirit like I do. But having some form of spiritual practice is really important. And it's it will guide you in unlocking your own gifts and and actually those of your clients, particularly if you're in coaching. So. We are at the moment in the process of sort of dismantling unstable ways of living and working and being in the modern world. We are at a precipitous moment. We are, you know, the whole world is vulnerable at the moment to these changes. So we want to move forward, to build forms, structures, ways of being that truly serve, you know, ourselves, our communities that we can move forward that honor our um the lineage that we've come from and will honor what comes after us so we need to do this because you know we as a species only have a finite time on this planet we as an individual only have a finite time on this planet so it's important to maximize what we do when we're here to do it so engage in your spiritual practice these are times of huge upheaval and uncertainty and so to figure out what's next with your business, you know, get creative with income generation and right livelihood, if you like. What can you do? What skills have you got that you can offer people at the moment on a, on a that's going to help them? And if you can focus on this in a to do this deeper work without being waylaid by fear, you know, so think about your ideal clients. Where are they on their journey? You know, if they're well up on their entrepreneurial journey, if you coach for women in business, they've already got the six and seven figure journey. They're at that point in their journey. What can you offer them? What can you offer people at the start of their journey? What can you offer people at the middle? You know, it might not be that you want to focus on one bracket for your for your offers. That's fine. You might. But, you know, well, there's a massive economic downturn at the moment you know, and people need need a lot of people need help a lot of people have exhausted by two years of the pandemic they're feeling huge economic strains and stock market crashes 
you know that the, the inflation's going up resources are, are becoming more and more expensive many people will be feeling the strain so get creative around income generation for your business and work within right livelihood where are your gifts you can't work your way out of this with just sort of um you know a bit of branding and a bit of um a new transformation statement or whatever this is this is this is deep work that you 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 can't rely on sort of the easy transitions of branding and marketing for this this is this is looking at speaking to the soul of your client and to do that you really need to look internally at your sort of your own soul what are you, what are your gifts what is it that you came to bring to the world? Are you in right relationship or are you really only scratching the surface? And get creative. And that's really my my tips at the moment. I don't normally come on live on my business page. And, you know, you normally come on and do the four steps to branding and something steps to this. And the two quick, quick key questions you should ask yourself and you're totally confused. All those kind of things. But I think there are also times when we need to look deeper. And I think now is one of them simplify your outer life as, as much as you can at the moment don't do all unnecessary stuff because you have if you simplify your life you give yourself more space you give yourself more time and freedom to respond to sort of the movements and calling of your soul if you fill your life with clutter and everything and everything 24 hours a day you can't hear you can't feel this subtle calling these subtle movements within your soul that are saying you know, OK, you're doing this. Actually, all I ever really wanted to do is this. You know, I've been trying to write a book for a long time. In fact, I've got several books on the go. And the more and more I delve into this, the more this deep voice calls to me and says, you know, all you've ever really wanted to be is an author. You know, you wanted to I wanted to um, inform and educate people. And I love working as a coach, both in both the energy alchemy work, but also, you know, as uh, helping women create businesses. Actually, my true passion has always been to educate, inform, write books. I want to go on speaking tours, those kind of things. So those voices in my soul are coming through right now to talk about my experiences with um, other forms of consciousness, out of body experiences, um, earth energy, you know, remote viewing, all these kind of things. Um, I'm feeling more inspired to write. So what are the what is the voice of your soul calling you to do? What 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 is it that you want to do? Take some time. Um, to feel movements of your movements of your soul but also the soul of your business because this is this calling is also coming from my business as well that's saying you know you'd be really good at that this is where one of your fortes lie because i have been written and published all over the place so and this brings us towards greater wholeness integrity and coherence when we're expressing our true gifts and this will this will serve you and your business more than anything else than trying to just sort of create mismatched offers and anything and anything to you know you're building you're building a business you're building your house on shifting sands the world is shifting between your feet to move into this we have to move on a deeper level which is not just trying to create a, a lesser version or a different version or a cheaper version of anything that we do right now we're in this transitional stage where things around us are starting to this is this is an un, it's a necessary unraveling if you like of all these man-made constructs that have led humanity down this narrow and narrow funnel where we're exhausting resources exhausting people we've got this warped sense of you know we are one and you've got all these divides between us and right now you know what with the pandemic economic crisis, climate change, you know, we are being funneled really down to this point where we must do this deep inner introspection for our businesses and ourselves to create a solid foundation to create coherency and um, integrity in the world as we're moving forward. So dig deep, do the inner work that I've just described to you and this will help you to be in in your business and your life to have an identity that both contains and mirrors to others what you truly are and what you want society to be so i've been a bit deep today um so and i don't normally come live on my business page i think i've shared it on my profile as well um so that's what i wanted to come and talk about today is how to build a solid foundation in life and business when the ground beneath your feet and everything that you hold dear 
is under this sort of unraveling in front of our very eyes moment by moment. This is this is the awakening. People have lived unconsciously for generations and generations. This is our chance now to step up and really own who we are and own our personal power and really create create move through this transition into the reality that what you want to see and add our voices to that and step up so i will see you all again very soon have a great day i will be live on my business page a lot more often i keep saying i'm not going to be but i i am and then i don't so slap on the wrist to me <laughs> i will show up more often um but this i'm kind of a deep thinker so um you know, I'm not going to be doing the lighter training, but if you want to come on me on that, I'm sort of a, a more thoughtful journey about your soul and your business and how to express that, then I would love to see you. You can also join my Facebook group, Divine Feminine CEOs as well. So if you want to join that, you know, hop on over in there and I'll see you in there. Take care then. Bye.